This Dotobi tutorial describes the manufacture of tooling, molds, art objects, ceramics and the like. We show here the easiest method to do it. It is obvious that the use of laboratory equipments makes the operation easier. The lab technician should use overall and gloves and respect the safety and security rules that apply to his laboratory. He may be assisted by a second technician in charge of cleaning the tools immediately in water before the hardening of the binder. Here are the directions for use of a Dutobi ceramic for simple applications. Prepare one part by weight of the Toby binder and between 50% and 200% by weight of fillers, depending on its granulometry. For this tutorial, we weight 100 grams of binder. Note that the Dutobi binder is still fluid after taking it out of the freezer. It can be used immediately. The Dutobi should be kept in a freezer at a temperature lower than minus 18 degrees C. It can be used for six weeks when kept at this frozen temperature. The Dutobi has a pot life of around two and a half hours at room temperature. We prepare 25 grams of fillers. Here we use mica. And we pour the fillers into the binder. Now we mix the whole. It is obvious that the use of a vibrating machine or a mixer will ease the operation. Cast the mixture in a hermetically closed mold. Note that the mixture is tixotropic. We must use vibration to pour it. Once finished, place the sample in an oven at 60 degrees C for 2 hours. Attention! The Dutobi geopolymeric reaction is exothermal. It means that the mold must withstand a temperature higher than 110 degrees C. You will understand why at the end of this tutorial. Do not hesitate to use vibration to get rid of the bubbles. You can clean very easily the equipment with water as long as the mixture has not yet hardened.
After two hours at 60 degrees C, note the condensation of water inside the lid. It is a good sign of geopolymerization. Even heated at 60 degrees C, this plastic cup in polystyrene did not withstand the 110 degrees C exothermicity of the geopolymeric reaction. So, use plastic molds that support such temperature. 